Rahman Rahim. Brothers and sisters, uh, in Ramadan, we will go through a process, a daily routine of suhoor, fasting, all of our prayers, iftar, uh, taraweeh, and then back to suhoor again. And we'll do this for 30 days. Don't let your children think that this is just Muslim culture. Okay? Because of course, you know very well that it's more than that. And therefore, it is important that our children don't just participate in the fasting, but they participate in the meaning of fasting. They don't just pass participate in iftar, but they participate in the blessing of that time. And so all of our children are making dua iftar time because dua is accepted. That when the food is in front of them, we remind them to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remind them of the millions of people who cannot have an iftar like this, right? When they get up for suhoor, don't just say you need the energy uh, and you, otherwise you're not going to be able to fast. No, tell them it's a sunnah that we need to do it because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did it. When we fast, tell them how fasting is spiritually beneficial. Every single step of the way, speak to your children. Make sure they don't just go through the motions, but they do it meaningfully. Right? That they know the meanings of what they are doing. Jazakumullah khairan. Oh.